Today we're gonna try and see which one out of all the tier 3, tier 4 and tier 5 farms is the most efficient one to buy and how it works. So in order to do this I placed down all the farms from tier 3 to tier 5 with full monkey knowledge and tested how much each one of them makes per round and these were the numbers. Now these numbers don't actually mean much unless we compare them to the cost of each farm. So dividing the income per round with the cost of each farm will give us a percentage return for every single one of them. Doing this gives us a clear winner with the 230 bank making $792 per round which is equal to an 11.4% return. And just looking at everything else including the tier 5s nothing even comes close. I mean the tier 5s are the worst ones giving about a 6% return. So even though the 230 bank is the best single investment to make, it can also literally be the worst farm in the game. Even though we calculated it as $792 per round, the actual graph of how the money gets made looks like this, where the earlier rounds barely make any money, but the compounding picks up and makes big returns later on. So the catch is that if you withdraw money a few rounds after you buy it, you're literally turning it into the worst farm possible, and so you always want to wait until it fills up its capacity before collecting to get the maximum amount of money out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click here if you want to watch some more Bloons content and I'll see you guys in the next one.